Welcome back to the Pocono Record Golf Lessons. We're here at Water Gap Country Club. My name is Dustin McCormick. Today we're going to be doing our 11th and final private lesson. Today we're going to be discussing pitching. Now we are going to come back for a wrap-up session next week, but for right now we're going to talk about pitching. You're going to learn today about how to judge distance and shot selection when it comes to pitching. It's one of the keys to golf because it's not a chip and it's not a full swing. So let's get started. The first thing to understand is that when we swing a pitch shot, it's the same exact thing as a full swing on a smaller scale. All our fundamentals are the same, a lot of the same things we covered in previous lessons. Now we're sitting here in some really heavy rough, which is what you'll find when you're around greens, maybe 30 to 40 yards. That's where pitch shot starts. Pitch shots aren't from 10 yards off the green, they're from between 30 and 60 yards. Depending, sometimes you can get up to 25 yards or maybe 70, depending on how far you hit the ball. The truth of the matter though is it's somewhere between a full swing and a chip shot. Now we talked about chipping where our feet are very close together and we're going to take this nice little rocking shoulder swing and we're going to get the ball to release up onto a green. Now we have a longer shot here. We're not looking just to take a nice little shoulder move. We got to make a golf swing, okay? So what we need to do is set up like it's a regular golf swing, maybe a slightly narrower stance only because that will create a steeper angle of attack for the pitch shot creating some backspin, alright? And what we're going to do is we're going to take a little golf swing, okay? If you notice, everything I've done here is the exact same. My left arm is straight, I have the club hinged towards the sky, my knees are flexed, everything is just like a full golf swing, except it's smaller. That's the key to pitching. If I'd come in here and take a swing, and I'd go and hit the ball, watch how short my swing is. The other thing to notice is my hold on the follow through. That is key to hitting a good pitch shot. And the reason that is key to hitting a good pitch shot is because when we swing, if we hold our follow through, we're actually increasing the loft on the club, which will give us a backspin and more height out of a nasty lie like this. Now we're going to go and look at distance control. Now the best way to learn distance control is to think about the face of a clock. All right? The golf ball is 6 o'clock and your head is 12 o'clock. That's the key. All right? Now for myself, I have a 60 degree lob wedge here. If I would take a full swing to 12 o'clock, which would be right about here with my 60 degree, I can hit it between 85 and 95 yards depending on how well I make contact. This is not a club that's meant for full swings. Now, when it comes to swinging this club on a pitch shot, I have multiple shots that I'll use. For 35 yards, I go to 9 o'clock. For 45 yards, I go to 10 o'clock. Now, what I mean by this is very simple. When I set up into the golf ball and I go to 9 o'clock, what I'm doing is I am taking my club to 9 o'clock. If my feet are 6, my head is 12, this is 9 o'clock. If I do that, I know I'm going to hit my pitch shot right around 35 yards. That's a key for me. Okay. If I need to go to 45 yards, I go to 10 o'clock. 55 yards, 11 o'clock. If I go any farther than that, I'm at my full swing. Now, if you do the math, that means I got about a 35 yard window that I don't have a swing for. This is where you have to go down a club, go to a sand wedge, or go to a gap wedge, change your clubs, and find what that goes to 9 o'clock. Because I guarantee you, if you go one club down, 9 o'clock there is going to be about 20 yards farther than 9 o'clock on a weaker club. For me, if I hit this 35 yards from 9 o'clock with a lob wedge, okay, when I get a sandwich in my hand, my 9 o'clock shot is like 55 yards, and that really is the key to pitching, knowing your distances. So go out, swing the 9 o'clock, see how far it goes, then go to 10 o'clock, then 11 o'clock, go down a club. That's the key to distance control. You don't want to do anything else. I got a 35 yard shot here. All I think about mentally is this. I think 9 o'clock and go. That's my goal. 9 o'clock and go. It does two things. It reminds you how far back I have to swing and it gives you a very good base on tempo for pitch shots because that is key. So when I go up and swing, I'm thinking 9 o'clock, go. We've talked about swing fundamentals for pitch shots, we've talked about distance control for pitch shots. Now we need to talk about ball position. Ball position will do two things for you. It'll help with shot selections because it can change the loft of the flight on a pitch shot as well as it can give you an extra couple of yards if you decide to hood the club. Okay. Now, normally, every golf club has four degrees difference in loft. So a sand wedge is 56, a lob wedge like I have here is 60, okay? That four degrees is a big difference. For me, it's about 15 yards. It should be the same for you. It might be eight yards, it could be 22. The relativity of that really doesn't matter. What we need, though, is the idea that these are going to go different distances, okay? So by cheating a club, we can actually help hit the ball farther. If I would take this 60 degree and just slightly move it forward, I turn it into like a 58 degree. That'll give me a couple of extra yards. So if I have maybe 38, 39 yards, okay, 9 o'clock and go on a normal pitch shot won't work for me because I only can hit that 35. So if I would just move it back slightly in my stance, then do 9 o'clock and go, 
I'm actually going to hit the ball slightly farther so I can get that distance of 37, 38, 39 yards. You need to start to be this accurate if you want to get good at golf, okay? Now, on the other hand, let's say I need to go a little weaker, okay? I need to hit something a little higher, I only have to go 30 yards. If I'm going to move the ball slightly up in my stance, now all of a sudden the golf ball is only going to go 30 yards when I take it back to 9 o'clock. So we can really fiddle with about 5 yards by moving the ball position back or forward in our stance. This is actually key to hitting good pitch shots and great distance control. So to start, I'm going to go with one a little bit farther back in my stance. I always try to line it up with my back leg. That's my key, okay? Just inside my right toe, okay? And what I want to do, as I set in, same thing, 9 o'clock and go. Much lower ball flight, okay? That definitely went about five yards farther. And now what I'm gonna do is move the ball up in my stance. Here, if I would move it up, once again, I'm gonna lose some yardage. That's gonna be key to hitting a good shot here. I need to hit the ball a little higher. I gotta hit it a little farther. So now that I move it up in my stance, I'm gonna take that same nine o'clock and go swing, but notice when I make contact, how much higher the ball will go right away. So nine o'clock and go. Much higher. That one only went about 25 to 30 yards. There's a big difference, and if you noticed, all I did was move the ball three inches forward or three inches back. If you combine the swing fundamentals, the distance control, and ball position, you can hit any pitch shot imaginable.